Welcome to this episode of Shift. I'm your host, Palmonia Gordon. Thank you for joining me today. And today I wanted to talk to you about believing in yourself. I'm a little bit angled today. My phone is plugged in, the battery's dead, so I'm limited by the cord. Cons Shift has been a concept that was designed to help us rethink and reprogram and just makes tiny moves like the second hand on the clock to get us to our goals, to get us to accomplish our dreams, to get us through the day. Now today I, I'm going to share with you about believing in yourself and I'm going to show you a book that I love. I love this book. This book is called, is the biggest book I own. This is the biggest book I own. It's called The Power of Positive Thinking by Dr. Norman Vincent Peale. And in this book, Dr. Peale shares about the power of your thoughts. And in one point, he says, thoughts create your condition, not the condition creating your thoughts. Because we often think it's because of how we were brought up while we think the way we do. Whereas the flip reverse is if we choose to think differently, it will create a totally different condition for us because our thoughts go out and create and prepare what it is that we're asking for. So in order to believe in yourself, in order for those thoughts to effectively produce what you're asking for, you have to believe in yourself and believe in your dreams and believe in your possibilities, believe in your hopes, believe in everything that you're asking for. There's a saying says one second of doubt and you're out. As my mentor, Mr. Darnell Self says, it says 1% disloyalty, 1% loyalty is 100% disloyalty. If you're not going to give 100%, 99, no, it's not enough because that is the little bit that is needed. Okay. I'll give you an example. I was in church on Sunday and one of my pastor, Pastor Jessica, she said, they are doing a devotion on, you know, how sin contaminates. But it's the same concept that will help you to understand that when you're given 99.9% .9 to something, you're still not giving 100%. You'll never, ever give 100%. And it's just as bad as giving zero. It's even better that you give zero than to give the 99%. And the book had a picture of a glass of water and a bird was sitting on the glass of the water with the tail hanging over the glass of water and it made a drop in. Now the question is, would you drink the water now if you're, if you're thirsty? No, because the water is contaminated. So the, the, the bird didn't do 100% of everything in the water, it just did 0.01%. Is the water still not good to drink? Because you still have 99% of the water that it didn't touch. It, he just dropped one. So that is to show how we need to look at things. It's the 0.1% or the 1% of doubt that takes us out of the game, that takes us out from trying one more time, that take us out from accomplishing our goals. So I'm here to encourage you today to... Keep believing in yourself. Keep believing in your goals. Keep believing in your dream. One of the best thing you can do, and I've spoken about this before, is to put it in a place visible where it subconsciously becomes a part of you. In, I believe it's Japan, I'm not sure if I may have said this before, in the subway, in the trains in Japan, they run sub subliminal messages. When you fall asleep in the train and if your head happens to hit the pane of the window, they start running ads. So you wake up and wondering, well, why am I feeling for this food or why is this thought in my head? 
and because that's the technology that has is what has happened so you have to believe in yourself and remember that your dreams are not your dreams your dreams or plans that have been given to you for you to fulfill and I'm, I'm very passionate about that because so many people are stuck they want to go forward they don't know where to go they don't know and you just have said in life you don't need to see the entire staircase you just need to take the first step in faith whatever it is that you desire in life Whatever you believe is your mission, whatever you believe it's for you to accomplish and to do on this earth, please believe in yourself. Because guess what? I believe in you. I believe in you. I know that you're capable of doing it. I know that you are capable of reaching one person, two person, ten person, a hundred, a million. It's not about the number because as you go out and you become who you're destined to be, you become more, you become a cup that is filled up daily that you can pour out. And as you pour out, you're filled up again and you can pour out again. So find your dreams, go after your dreams, believe in your dreams. I love you. Have a good day.